Hi, welcome to the Arabic Frame Maker Part 4. In this video, you will see how to design a paragraph. I am talking about the paragraph designer. The shortcut key is Ctrl N. If you know how to design your content, it is very important to know how to design your content. Either create a paragraph, a table, a diagram, or any video for that reason. So, the paragraph designer plays a very important role in designing your Framemaker document. I believe if you know the paragraph designer, 60% of Framemaker is almost done for you. Let's now see about paragraph designer, which is Ctrl M. In this document, I have five pages and couple of headings and subheadings and the general text as well. Let us start beautifying them. So Ctrl M is the shortcut key to get the paragraph designer. You can also get paragraph designer by clicking on the view tab, then parts and paragraph designer. So the first line, talented Indian cricketers is a heading and Sunil Gavaskar is a subheading. And the rest, everything is the content. And similarly, I have the Kapil Dev and the general text below that. So let's format this document by giving respective headings. Now, I do not want to use the existing styles like heading 1 and heading 2. However, if you want to use it, you can directly place the cursor and assign heading 1. But as mentioned earlier, I do not want to use the existing styles. So press Ctrl Z and on the view menu, point to parts and then click paragraph designer. So I get the paragraph designer here and let's create a style for the main heading. So this is my main heading. So I place the cursor and I type here as main heading. From the basic tab, we have to set the following properties. So there are few properties which are not applicable to the heading that we'll definitely will see while creating a general text style, meaning for the style that we are going to create it for the paragraph. For main heading, there is nothing I can do with the basic tab because these properties may not be much useful for the main headings. However, if we want the main heading to be center aligned, you can put it as center aligned. Otherwise, keep it as it is. Now, the moment you give a main heading, if you observe, get a create style button. If you are using earlier versions of FrameMaker, like FrameMaker 8, 9, and 10, you will see a command button over here in which you can create a style. But as we are using 2019 version of Adobe FrameMaker, there is a slight difference here. And I really feel these options are good enough for a basic person to understand. So click create style. Now the style is created for me. Now I can go to the next tab to set the properties of the main heading. So let me select a font family for the heading and let me take it as a Vardana font size for the heading. Let me make it as 18 color. I'm making it blue with this for our learning purpose. Background. So background for this text is a new feature that a FrameMaker has added here, but I really don't feel that you know, it is useful for my headings. Then I'll go to the weight. Weight here in FrameMaker is bold. So I want my heading to be in bold. That's it. I do not want any other parameters to be set for my headings. But we'll definitely see what are the other options and where we can use it. So next, before I go to the pagination tab, I'll click update style and I'll go to the next tab. Now you see that whatever the style that we have created as for the main heading, it got assigned to the text. That is because my insertion point was there in that line. In Adobe FrameMaker, cursor is known as the insertion point. Now we'll go back to basic font and create a subheading style as well so that we can see what are the other options that we can use with the headings so that we can see what are the other options that we can assign to the subheadings and the general content. So I'll go to the basics tab and place the cursor where I need the subheading. So I create a style, use subheading. And like Microsoft Word, we do not have the option here like style based on so that 
I can carry forward all the properties of the main heading to the subheading. So here again, the first left and right it does not make any sense for me here because I want the subheading to be to be start from the baseline. Now above paragraph. In above paragraph, we can define how much spacing we want to leave before subheading starts. But before I give the properties, let me ensure that the style is saved. So I click here create style. I'll come back to above paragraph and assign it as zero because I do not want any space above this subheading. So I set 14 point. So below paragraph is how much space you want to leave after the subheading. So right now I keep it as zero. So once we have the look and feel of main heading, subheading and the general content, we can come back and change the paragraph distance setting. Then click update style and go to the next tab, which is font. So font, I will select version again because my main heading was 18. I will select it as 14 for here. Weight is regular. Weight is bold and click update style. Now we can see the subheading is also created and assigned to the style. Now what we can do, we can just scroll down and assign the subheadings to the other styles as well. To assign the styles, you don't need to go to the paragraph designer. You can just see into the styles menu here and click a subheading, select subheading. But we can see that you know there is no proper spacing above and below the subheading. We can define that. So similarly, I will assign the subheadings to the other text as well. So such intent will occur here and the Rahul Dravid subheading. Submitting and the last we have Saru Ganguly and the submitting here. Now let us define the spacings. So so let us define a new setting in such that whenever there's a submitting starts, there should be a space above. So we can go to basic tab and above spacing I will define it one line and update style. Now I see that there is you know, enough spacing whenever there is a new heading starts. So this looks good for me. Now to beautify the general text, I mean to say the content, I will place the cursor in between the content and create a style again. So it is general text and create style first. So this is very important. The moment you give the style name, just click create style button then we can give the properties. I want to maintain the same consistent uh, font family and all. So I have to define the Vardana. Before I go to the font group, so inundation, the first inundation here. So what is this first? If I define the first as 0 0.5 and update style, you see that this is the first line inundation. Wherever we apply the general text style, the paragraph will start with 0 0.5 inch spacing. If you do not want this, you can just make it 0 and update style again. Now what is left? Left here it is from the second line onwards how much spacing you want. So here in this case if I make it 0 for the first and for the second line I make it 0 0.5 you can see the difference now. So from the second line onwards so this type of paragraph is called as a hanging paragraph. Now for my document I don't need either the first line or the hanging indentation. So I just make it zero for both and click update style. However, we can further beautify this paragraph. Let's see. Now you can see on the right is zero inches. That is nothing but the, on the right hand side, the text can touch till the right side baseline. As mentioned earlier, this dotted line is called as the baseline. So there's the left baseline and the right baseline. Now to this paragraph, let me make it as justified and update style. Now you see that the paragraph is justified and looking good enough. And let me apply the same style to the next paragraph also. So as mentioned earlier to apply the style, you can just uh, click the styles menu and select style. 
that's it so here we have the same styles of paragraph but others are not because we are not yet assigned the style next so what i would like to also beautify is i do not want to see the hyphenations within the paragraphs so what i can do is go to the advanced tab and and clear the hyphenate box I click update style you can see that there is no hyphen within the paragraph and this hyphen was given manually so that's the reason it is still written we shall come back to basic step again i'll tell you why i can see that the distance between the paragraph is not much so let's see how to set up the distance between the paragraphs so i go to the style before that we have to ensure we are making the change to the general text itself which is assigned to the paragraphs now if you see that below paragraph is zero points you can increase that to one line spacing then update style you can now see the distance between the paragraph has increased the distance is quite bigger than which is needed then you can always change it manually by making it 10 and then update style now you see the distance between the paragraph is better than earlier similarly we will now see the distance between the lines by default you see the distance between the lines is 14 point however if you want to change it to 1.5 lines you can make it in frame maker we call it the 21 pt and update style you can see the distance between the lines is increased now however it doesn't look good i feel that it's too much of spacing then i can manually make it as 18 in update style so it's better now now let's see what is the next paragraph tag the next paragraph tag you can define what style you want when you press enter at a particular style example i'll show you here after sunil gavaskar which is subheading if i press enter there is another subheading is what i'm getting here you can see that at the insertion point you can see it is indicating that it is a subheading text what i'm going to type similarly if i press enter at the main heading i'm getting another main heading so i can define in the styles itself what is the next style i should get so to configure that what we can do is after subheading if i press enter after subheading then i should get a general text update style now you see that so after the subheading now i'm getting the general text you can see at the insertion point it is pointing to the general text similarly i can also configure for the main heading if i press enter after the main heading the next paragraph tag should be my subheading and click update here let me check that press enter after main heading you can see it's the subheading this is a wonderful feature in microsoft word the similar option is the style for the following paragraph now let's go to font group and see more options about designing the paragraph so in the font group there's something as underline so if i check this underline there are two options here double underline and numeric underline what is this double underline just check so i check this box underline and if i select this double underline as the name suggests yes it's a double underline what you get for the text if i want a single underline so there is nothing like single underline so the frame maker calls it as a numeric underline so if you select numeric underline it's a basic underline so i'm removing this underline this is for just our learning purpose i have shown you and update the style so similarly we have overline so i'll show you what is overline overline is very similar to the underline where you find the line just above the text so for the subheading let me show you what is overline so so place the cursor at subheading and selecting this overline and update style you can see this is just an overline next we have the strike through as the name suggests uh, and i'm sure you are aware of this what is strike through but still let me show you that the strike through and update and i'm applying it for the subheading update style so this is what is the strike through so i'm removing the strike through now update style so next we have letter spacing and stretch if you are working with earlier versions of adobe frame maker 
the frame maker 9, 10, 7 and 12. Then instead of letter spacing, you see the term as spread. Now what is this letter spacing? It is uh, by default is 0 percent. So the letter spacing is as suggested. It is the distance between the letters within the words. Now I feel this should not be changed and it is by default it is 0 unless and until you have any specific requirement. You shouldn't be doing that. However, I'll show you one example here. What if I make it as 1% instead of 0%? Update style. You can see that the space between the letters has marginally increased because I just made it as a 1%. Let me make it to 10% and show you. You can see that the spacing between the letters has increased more than the earlier. So let me make it 0. Now we we'll go to the stretch. Now what is the stretch? Stretch is all about the distance between the words. So letter spacing was earlier, distance between the letters. Now this is distance between the words. Now let me make it as one, 110 and then update style. You can see that you know, the distance between the words has increased. However, the distance between the letters remains the same. Now let me make it 100 again. So generally you can make use of it Let's say for example this paragraph, only the test runs is coming into the last line. Now I want it, I'm not very comfortable to see that only the two words in the last line. So I can reduce the stretch to 98% and update style. I can see that the test runs has adjusted into the previous lines. Now coming to the next, it is superscript and subscript. So I'm sure you know what is superscript and subscript. So I will show the examples of superscript and subscript when we talk about character designer. Now we have the small caps, lowercase and uppercase. Now let's say I want to change all the general text content to uppercase. So I will select the uppercase and update style. You can now see the general text wherever the style was applied, change the content to the uppercase. Now similarly I want to change it to small caps, update style, this is the small caps. Let me bring it to normal, like earlier, so I have to uncheck and update style. There are certain things in this uh, font group which are not for us. So generally these are the letter spacing used for the Japanese fonts. So the pair curve and the T sumi. So these two are not for us, so if at all you get an opportunity to work with the Japanese content then see very similar to letter spacing and stretch for English Tsumi and Perkan are for the Japanese content. Change bar. The change bar is quite interesting feature in Frame Maker. Let us create a style and apply change bar and see how does it look like. Generally the change bar can be used for a specific content like note, tip, warning, caution content. So let me take this content as a note for me and I would like to create a style for this. So create a style, let's say note content, create style. So for the note content, I want to apply the change bar. Okay, I want to apply the change bar and I would like to apply the background color for the change bar is yellow, update style. Now if you see that there's a bar here outside the baseline. Now whenever I use this note content style, so that will be in with the yellow background and the bar here. Let's see at some other place as well. Now for this paragraph, I would like to apply this note content and see how does it look like. I go to the styles menu and apply this note content. You see it, there's a change bar here again and the content background is yellow because that is what the format we have selected. Now let's move further and go to the pagination tab. Now in pagination tab is quite interesting here and the options are very similar to the Microsoft Word. Let's say we want each subheading should start on a new page, meaning whenever there's a new chapter, like in our document, it's a new cricketer name, it should start on a new page. But however, in our document, we see that the copy name starting in the middle of the page. Sachet and Rooker is also from starting starting from the middle of the page. Rahul Dravid is also the same. Vivas Lakshman 
Saurav Ganguly, all these names are starting in the middle of the document. But I do not want that. It should be automated. Like whenever we assign subheading to that content, we should automatically start on a new page. So what we should do, setting up the things, ensure that in the style name, it's subheading. In the pagination tab, in the start menu, instead of anywhere, you select at the top of the page and click update style. Now you see that all the names are starting automatically on a new page. So this feature is very similar to your Microsoft Word page break before. Now going further, we'll see more advanced options of beautifying this document. Now if you scroll down, I see something like this, you know, glorious player, which is the heading one and the content is just below. So which is incorrect or not a good practice to have something like this. In Microsoft Word document, we have an option for keep with next. So if we apply the keep with next to the heading one, then the content will automatically be there with the next paragraph in the same page. Over here, we have something called keep with next paragraph. So I want to ensure that whenever there's a heading one, it should keep with the next paragraph. I will ensure that whenever there's a heading one, the following style should also be on the same page. In that case, I can select the next paragraph and update style. See that the heading one and the following style are on the same page. Now, let me show you the other way of doing this as well. So control Z, come back here and I can also place the cursor at the general text and select this previous paragraph. So keep with previous paragraph. So the previous paragraph for the general text is the heading one. So both are same, but the only thing it matters is for which style you are applying the style. So just update style. You can see that the result is the same. Hope it is interesting. So let's move on and see more advanced options. Now this is quite interesting feature in Adobe Framemaker, which is side heads. So now what is a side head? The side head is generally the, the text that we want to put in a side head column. So this is a different way of formatting our document. But I'll show you what is a side head is all about. Now let's play around the side heads. So I place the cursor in the main heading and first I have to define the side headings to apply the side heads. So what we do is first we go to format, page layout, column layout and room for the side heads. So we are defining a certain space to be reserved for the side heads. Once I check that option, click update entire flow and click OK. Now you see that there's a side head space here. Now I can, now we can format the text in such a way that all the headings should sit in the side heads. So how do we do that? So main heading and select the side head update style. You can see that the, because the text content was lengthy, it was unable to fit into the the area that we have given. So what I do now is I will just select that main heading to fit in across all columns and side heads. Let me tell you that this space is known as columns and this space as side heads. So I feel that uh, this main heading doesn't fit into the side heads. So what we do is we can set the main heading across all columns and side heads. So select across all columns and side head and update style. Now you can see the content is spread across all columns and the side heads. As mentioned earlier, this is the columns area. So what about the subheading, which is Sunil Gavaskar? So I want this into the side heads. So select subheading and click side head update style. Now you can see this is one of the format of arranging your content. Now same thing happens for the other pages as well. You can see that new heading such a starts this page here, the whole thread of it here. But if you do not want the name like this to be broken between the name, then give soft enter, which is shift enter here. You can do that manually in the same case with this as well. Or you can also configure in such a way, even your subheading should be 
across all columns and side heads update style because overuse of the content or too many formattings you can see the content is duplicated nothing to worry about that to clear that one thing what you can do is just double click on the scroll bar that's it you can see the content overlap is gone now so let's go on to the other tab which is advanced now for the numbering this is a different video because the numbering concept is quite a big concept in adobe frame maker so my next video is based on the numberings so we go to advanced tab as we have already learned about the hyphenation now as i mentioned earlier in my video there are certain parameters which are by default better not to modify these specifications very similarly here we can see frame above pgf frame below pgf and pgf box so here the pgf pgf stands for paragraph so frame above paragraph now let's say whenever there's a new chapter name comes up like new subheading whenever there's a new subheading i need a line below so let me tell you the line below is not an underline the underline is the line just below the text but whereas a line above and the line below is from one end to other end of the base line so i'll show you here now let's see what is the line above pgf so let's say i want to draw a double line above subheading update style now you can see that there's a double line above the subheading similarly you can also try a single line below update style so if you give this and throughout your document wherever there's a subheading that format automatically comes for you so next we have paragraph box if you want color your paragraph box this is generally you can use it for note caution tip and warning as well let's say i'll just show you now how it looks like let's say i want to just uh, give yellow color to the paragraph and update style you can see that the entire paragraph style gets a yellow background so going to the next tabs again so asian as i mentioned earlier there are a few parameters not for the english content table cells there's a different video where i'm explaining about the table contents and the designing of the table and the direction is what is a new feature that they have added in this you can see the text direction left to right or right to left so this is what all about the paragraph a designer that we have in frame maker if you have any more questions regarding this paragraph designer please get back to me i'm sure you like this video thank you